But it says this time mostly stately formal mess uh, messenger indeed. Nonetheless, then the king Tezcoco, who the Montezuma commanded, came to bear greeting to all conquering Cortez. The king appeared born upon a rich litter adorned with uh, rich plumes and golden diapers, its canopy supported by pillars of gold, and these sets were sparkling jewels. The king descendants, uh, des descending, bowed low before Cortez. I come, great Spaniard, said he, at the bidding of our noble Montezuma, to attend your, uh, you to uh, attend, attend you to the city. The Spaniards, though overjoyed that Montezuma's evident fear had driven him to this, did not forget for an instant that it might be a scheme or just as round or entrap them when once uh, within the walls of the city, as they marched along the great uh, causeway leading into Mexico, the lake was uh, thronged on every side by canoes loaded with natives eager to see these wonderful beings who were entering their city. Sound like our Caribs, right? Always in the canoes. Remember who they took away in the canoes in our last one, the Algonquin Conquest? Because uh, I had a couple of people of the Aztec uh, or Spanish, you know, you want to say uh, extraction, you know, run up on your boy with a couple of questions, like prove it. You know what I'm saying? Poof, we came from somewhere else. So this is basically me reading, you know, the history out loud for them. Because obviously they didn't read it. But as well, it says, as, you know, wonderful beings entering the city, the horses, the glittering armor, and the military order of the march, we are all new and wonderful to these natives who in their battle array were accustomed to no order other than the inscriptions of the war cry and to no other weapons than armor and stones and bits of burning timber. As the army crossed the wooden drawbridge and saw them drawn up after them, thus cutting off escape, more than one soldier felt that death would be the only way out. Now came Montezuma to greet them, borne upon the most magnificent litter supported by nobles who bent their eyes to the ground with the Lord before him, bearing stand, uh, standards of gold and silver, and a long line of reta uh, retainers behind him. The great ruler of the Aztecs approached Montezuma, touched his hand to the ground, and then to his head, as was the custom of the situation. Cortez bowed and placed around the king's neck a chain of colored crystals. Then, with many uh, compliments and expressions of gratification at the meeting, Montezuma himself led Cortez to a great place, which was to be devote, uh, devoted to his use. Leading Cortez to his own apartment, he assigned him a seat upon a piece of fine matting, saying, You and your friends are now home. Now repose yourself. With those words, he bowed himself away, leaving the Spaniards to speculate among themselves how much of all this display was goodwill and was genuine and how much was treacherous. Having disposed of their cannon in the vast best advantage uh, and every possible precaution against attack having been taken, the Spaniards then sat down to a feast of rich cakes and tropical fruits. No sooner had the uh, arson from the sumptuous meal that Montezuma was announced. Malinche, the great harlot, this punk bitch here, we gonna get into that. Ugh, she just put a bad taste in my mouth. Fuck that. Oof, fuck this bitch. Uh, said Montezuma as he and Cortez sat down upon the rich mat in the midst of the grandest uh, apartment in the place. For a long time from our records have we known that we are not the descendant from the original people of this land. Known that we are not descended from the original people of this land. Known that we are not descended from the original people of this land. Our ancestors came from over the seas. And the prince of that country came here and lived amongst us for a time. Long have we looked for his descendants from this country, uh, that country where the sun rises. And so from 
what you say of this wonderful king of yours, I believe that he is a, he is the descendant whom we should acknowledge. We are indeed those of whose coming your oracles have uh, prophesied, replied Cortez. We come from the great monarch Don Carlos, who may uh, who, who has many prince subjects to him. Hearing the fame of the great Montezuma, he set us in the name of thee, and that we might tell thee of the true religious, of the true Christian faith. Right. I just remember these Aztecs, when they got there, they were being enslaved and they were being persecuted by the Olmec or Yamaya in class. So whenever they arrived, the Aztecs, whenever they had a chance to make a, 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 a alignment with these people, they, they took the chance, you know what I mean? They jumped at it. As you know, the eastern origin of these little islands, therefore, a stepping stone and solution to question the ordinary interests and population and the clue of the mystery of the original settlers in the near southern verge of the southeast traders, which blow during the southern summer of October and uh, April. Malcolm Islands is said, did the Phoenicians discover America? In describing the stone remains of this island of Rapa, and the Austral group says that the South Pacific uh, directory on the summit of the sixth of the highest hill are to be seen square terraces of fortified places, some of which are very elaborate construction. But what is very uh, singular? They are mostly solid within the stones, are well squared and very large size and well cemented and evident uh, analogous to the terrace described on the Easter Islands. Again, describe Easter Islands, he says. This is one of the most interesting spots in the Pacific. It is remarkably isolated, as is some 2,030 miles from the coast of Chile and 1,500 miles from the nearest inhabited land except Picture an Island. So this is a people of their history are ethnological problem worthy of much consideration while their origin is one of the most important problems connected to the migration of races. How the early navigators in these canoes managed to reach this lonely spot in the teeth of the usual tide winds is one of those mysteries and solutions that would clear up many difficulties in history. But it says, those who are acquainted by Mr. Rawlins' uh, socially work, the Phoenicians may remember his description of these people. He says that they were the complexion intermediately between the pale races of the north and the swarthy inhabitants of the south, having abundant hair, sometimes curly but never woolly. They were above the medium height and had the features unlike Aryans or Caucasians, but somewhat less refined than regular. The nose broadish, indicating that he looked at the lips a little too full uh, in their frames inclined to stout, uh, stoutness and massiveness. While both features are resemble the Jews who their near neighbors and infrequently intermarried with them. So you see who was mixing them out and making them look this way. Supposedly, the Polynesians, no one has come in contact with the native uses of the various stones of the East of Rapa, the fusion of Marshall Gilbert's and Hawaiian Island skin. At a moment, doubt or curiosity that native traditions of all refer to the origins of some land lying in the direction of the setting sun and the relations of the strong islands around labor, which had been occupied by a powerful people called the Antu, the, uh, the Nu, who had large vessels in which they made long voyages east and west, many moons being required for these voyages. When we come eastward to reach Mexico, we find evidence of their presence in, instead a thousand, uh, intensified a thousand folds, not only agricultural remains, but conglomerate uh, decoration. So basically they tell you this is the motherland of where they came out of. You can stop and read this one. I'm trying to get this all in before I go back into lunch. I'm trying to find Malinche and what happened 
and why they brought back fake Jesus to get him. Why they were so inclined to listen. Here we go. All right, this is a picture of Quetzalcoatl, a.k.a. Jesus, you know, because they didn't have a story of Jesus till Malinche came and told him, and then they came back and told it to the Mayans and the Aztecs after they took it over there and rewrote it to the European and then brought it back. You get what I'm saying? Okay, so let's keep going. Boom, Isos, Jesus, Jesus, Hell, Zeus. It says, Quetzalcoatl conducted these people through the pilgrimage and the wandering, recorded in the pictures and the writing, and who walked like Moses, wrote the code of the laws of the nation and conducted civil government. Quetzalcoatl, in relation to Hemoc, uh, or Hemoc, played that the part of Joshua when Quetzalcoatl began to give the laws instead of Humac, he set a crier to the top of the mountain of outcry whose voices could be heard from 300 miles around. Joshua follows Moses as the leader of Israel and instructs his people to go against Jericho and his mountain of the outcry and shout out uh, to shout and ought to have heard that the equal distance of the loud enough to make the walls fall flat. The old red land, the Heyu Delta Plan, was named of the original house in the north from which the Toltecs migrated. Their leader, Quetzalcoatl, wore a long robe marked with crosses. This sign identified him as the one who crosses. Quetzalcoatl attained the land of promise after his golden reign and the ears were grew so large that one man could hardly carry it. Joshua led the people into the land only of milk and honey, America, the land of milk and honey, a single bunch of grapes was a load to the men. Mm. Grapes, too. And we're going to come back into this one. We're going to get them. The Black Nazarene figure, Copaco Church, suffered several nightmares for it. It had been a big mystery for me why that the image of Jesus Christ was black skin after the image of Jesus in the mind of the Filipinos, including mine. Actually, deception of the Renaissance artist commissioned by the mystery depends on, for me, when I learned later that the medieval Spain had been among the most racist European countries, partly because of the wrath having been conquered by the black skin Moors from supposed North Africa. No, them coming in and getting rid of the, the black Moor of, of southern Spain. In the 8th century, despite his uh, declaration that all men are equal in the eyes of God, they had been uh, a legacy institution of racism in the Catholic Church. This is black Negroes and why the Catholic Church is Philippine, Filipinos and based on school children. Normally bulky dark skinned classmates refer to him as a projected Negro egoi. Many historians believe that the primary sort of witness of account of an event likely to discover historical truth, while historians can say with some certainty that there was an American Indian woman who translated for Hernan Cortez and helped him to conquer the Mexica. More commonly known as the Aztecs, Alinche appears to be an ambiguous figure in both Spanish and the Walt Mexica accounts of her. The ambiguity of her in the record says that the great deal about her class and gender in the 1500s. Uh, no such ambiguity surrounds Cortez. First uh, official interpreter, Germino de uh, Aguilar, a Spanish man who had been living among the Indians and who had knew their language, uh, Cho, uh, Chotan Maya. See what I mean? It's two different languages of who it was before. See, which means foreigner to them, speaking mind. So, and as y'all see, we get more. We don't, we don't get into it because the quiche Maya are just different. He baptized them, Le Laguna, the translator with the Spanish name Marina, La Marina, as a, a distant uh, Mal Malentians was responsible for the Nawalt pronunciation of uh, Marina and the Nawal speakers replaced the Spanish R with the L.
please, we don't get back into this. Pull the top belt. The West Africans in, but but now we've got some pyramids that's looking a lot like Egypt. So I went and asked Egypt. I started checking their records to ask them, do y'all know anything about the Americas? Do you, have you written anything? I mean, if you build a city like Heliopolis in the Americas, I figured you're going to write about it. And they did. And I saw so much in those records. One of the first things I saw were the writings that said, you know what? And we would go to this great pyramid and we would ascend the double staircase and receive our crown as Pharaoh. Well, the Great Pyramid on the Nile in Northeast Africa doesn't have stair steps going up it. It doesn't have temples on top of its summits. They could not go and break through the boat on the temples of Tan Nun there. And that was the clue that Egypt was writing about the Americas. They started actually saying, and because Amun loved that land so much, he said it's his beloved land, and that word was Mary, the beloved Mary. And the land, of course, as before, is Ta. So you have the beloved, the, the beloved land, Ta Mary. And they kept that name and just put the Ta on the end Love of it, so Ta Mary, people. we call Troy. Troy is in Central America. If you don't know the history of it before they start calling it Troy, you will never find it probably. But when Egypt wrote about it, they actually called it with those same letters. One word was T-R-W, Troy. But they said, but we have another name for that city. We call it Kaban, K-U-B-B-A-N. It means the hidden city because Troy is way up from the water at a time where cities, major cities were being placed on the waterway because that's how commerce was being conducted by ship. Carthaginians, Troy the Americans. Was not. Troy was up in the rainforest, way up in the mountains, hidden. And so Egypt called it Coven, the hidden city. And I'm going to give you something I've never told anybody other than close associates. You want to find Troy? You go find the city that Egypt says its name is Coven. And you'll find this Maya city called C O P A N, Copan. And there you will have ancient Troy. That's the African I can't wait. city. Oh, can't wait for Troy. Back, y'all. We back on their heads. So they knew. When they came in in the 1500s, they knew where they were. They knew this was Egypt. You find this strange letter in Spain where they are having the wars against the blacks who are now running Spain wars, and they didn't lose that until 1492. And when they defeated those wars, then they said, oh, we can go and, 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 and fight the war against the blacks over in the Americas, but not until we whoop the ones that's on our doorstep or, or we're on their doorstep. So that's the history that's unfolding. They knew that the Holy Lands were over here, the bad they knew. And they sent it over to destroy these churches and these people so that the Vatican could be the head of the churches by destroying the other 11 that was in the Americas. And Spain had the right to come in and start trying to get the commerce to become rich off of the gold and the other things in the African cities. 